my name is Paige Lamore, and I'm a graduate student in the lab of Dr. Rob Woods here at the University of Georgia. I'm involved in glycomit projects that utilize an optical analytical technique called bilayer interferometry, or BLI. The basis of BLI is its ability to detect the binding of a molecule in solution to another molecule that has been immobilized to a sensor surface. Here at the CCRC, we have the Octet Red 384 system from Sartorius. This instrument utilizes a glass biosensor in which a protein or glycan can be immobilized to either by antibody specific capture, affinity tag capture, or chemical coupling. This instrument can pick up 16 biosensors per an experiment, and it dips it into a molecule in solution that is contained in this 3D4 well plate format. Essentially, this instrument shines a white light through the biosensor in which it's able to measure a change in wavelength response. While BLI is a robust method, it is specifically useful for measuring binding affinities, kinetics, and glycan protein concentrations. Additionally, it is useful for inhibition assays to identify lead compounds for drug discovery projects. Over here, I will give an example of how this data can be processed. This is an example of SAR, a spike from SARS-CoV-2 binding to ACE2 wild type. On the y-axis here, you see how it measures the wavelength response in nanometers. And on the x-axis, it shows how the change in wavelength is measured in time, in seconds. As you can see, you can measure a K-on value or a rate of association, as well as a K-off value or a rate of dissociation to generate a binding curve or saturation curve in which a KD value can be measured for.